This is Geometry B, Unit 6, Surface Area and Volume, Lesson 4, Volumes of Prisms and Cylinders. We've been talking about surface area, that is defined as the area of covering. Now we're going to talk about volume, which is the space of filling. Volume, the space of filling. If you recall, it's in units cubed or cubic units because it measures how many cubes fit inside, can stack inside the object. Okay, And we are going to find the volume of two things. We're going to find the volume of prisms, which is defined as a shape pulled through space so that it has the same shape on top and bottom. Okay, and then the shape on top and bottom is called the base. And the distance between the bases is called the height. And the formula for the surface area, you recall, was two bases plus the perimeter of the base times the height. The formula for the volume is actually quite a bit simpler. It's the area of the base times the height. The area of the base times the height. Okay. So a simple example of a, uh, oh, let's say we've got a triangular-based pyramid in which we have a right triangle as the base. Okay, and this is 3, and this is 4, and this is 6. We take the area of the base, which is a triangle, one-half base times height for one-half three times six, which is half of six is three, three times three is nine square centimeters we'll use. That's the area of the base, and the height is six, so the volume is the area of the base times the height, which is nine times six, or 54 square centimeter, or cubic centimeters. Okay, so the area of the base times the height. Then we've got the height of a, or the volume of a cylinder. Cylinder is a circle, fold through space. You may recall the formula for the surface area of a cylinder as 2 pi r squared, that's two circles plus 2 pi r, and that's the perimeter or circumference of the circle, times the height. Well, the volume is simpler than that. The volume is the area of the base, pi r squared, times the height, h. Okay, so in this particular case, let's say the radius is 4 centimeters, and the height is 6 centimeters. The volume then is pi times 4 squared times 6. 4 squared is 36. 36 times 6 times pi, that's 180, and 36 is 216 pi. That's leaving it in terms of pi. You can get an approximate answer by using your calculator. I'm going to use Desmos. And I'm going to use the pi button. Sometimes you'll have a test question that will ask you to use 3.14 for pi. I don't particularly care for those. Nowadays, most of us have access to calculators and can get a better answer than that. 678.58, so 678.6. 678.6 cubic centimeters. Remember, cubic units for volume, square units or area. Okay? And that's really about it. You might be given a problem where you're asked to find a radius or a height. Those are a little more involved.